Alright everybody, this is my 55 gallon angelfish tank and if you'll see this big what looks like a wild type but is in actuality just a mixed veil. I got this at one of the big chain pet stores about four years ago and it turned out to be big and beautiful. But this is the aggressor that's been in my 29 gallon miscellaneous tank and I've been watching for the last few days and I was hoping things were getting better but today the aggression escalated again and this one was chasing the other medium sized fish around the tank like crazy. Well you can see my uh, picked this catfish in there darting around like an insane thing. They always do that. They either sit still or they move around like they're on fire one or the other. There is no in between with them. Um, at any rate, one of my viewers actually had a pretty good idea and suggested that I move this big aggressive fish out of my little 29 gallon tank and move it over into this 55 gallon tank because I have a mated pair which is this male and this female. So these two usually stay together and they usually stay down towards this left end of the tank. I think this male's a little curious as to what's going on in his tank right now since I've just added this addition. And my viewer suggested since this German blue here is sort of the odd man out in this tank and always kind of gets pushed down to the far end, it might be a good idea to switch places and put the wild type or the mixed veil in this tank and then take that German blue and put the German blue in the 29 since it's a smaller fish anyway. So for now I've got him in here and we're going to wait and see how this aggression turns out. I just put him in here about two minutes ago. Uh, that's why you can still hear all the noise and the fans and stuff going on in the room. I didn't really prepare to do this video. I just wanted to try to document uh, the first few interactions that happen once these fish get in this tank together and it's causing a bit of disturbance. Everybody's sort of chasing everybody at the moment. Um, so I don't know. I'm going to wait and see. If the aggression continues, uh, I'll have to do something else. I might have to uh, try going through and taking this German Blue and putting it in the 29. But this German Blue can be fairly aggressive in its own right, and I don't necessarily know if I want to put that one right in the 29. Uh, the upshot would be is if it went into the 29, it would be a new addition and it wouldn't feel like its territory was being invaded like it does now. So that looks like I'm probably going to have to do something about this. This doesn't look like the, you know, pecking order, new fish in the tank, let's sort everything out. Uh, that looks like there's going to be genuine aggression between this German blue and this larger one. So if I get the German Blue out and I put that in the 29, that will open up the right hand end of the tank and this uh, big mixed veil might be able to go down there. I'm not really sure. So once again, this is part of my angelfish shuffle. I've been doing this forever. I've really had a hard time getting these fish to sort themselves out uh, into tanks where they're not going to be overly aggressive with each other. If you are thinking of or planning on setting up an angelfish tank or keeping angelfish, I'd really recommend either doing a mated pair or a singleton or maybe two if you've got a 55 gallon tank. I even think three is possible in a 55 gallon tank, but if you had three males, I think that would be too small. I think the, the, that even a 55 would be too small if you had three males. If you had a couple females and one male, uh, maybe a 55 would be enough for three. But I've got a mated pair plus my odd man out over here. And that's a tentative situation. They get along because there's lots of plants and lots of places to hide and there's enough room for them to stay separated. So, you know, angelfish are cichlids. They're not exactly community fish. If you want to do a large tank full of them, you almost have to go by the same principle you do with cichlids, which is to have so many in a tank that they're not able to establish territory. So it's kind of all or nothing with angelfish. You either keep a mated pair or a singleton or you have a tank that's full of them and uh, I rarely see that ever work out. It usually is just a pair or a singleton. So I'm going to go ahead and keep my eye on this. I think the next thing I'm going to do is just go ahead and move that German Blue and put him in the 29 and we'll see what happens from there. So stay tuned. Make sure you're subscribed. Uh, you won't miss any of the updates. This is going to be a little ongoing saga for the next few days probably until I get this all sorted out. Um, but this kind of aggression can't continue. I don't want this to go on in here any longer than you know necessary. 
So I'm going to get on that. Remember, make sure you're subscribed. That way you won't miss anything coming up. This is my 55-gallon angelfish tank. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you real soon in the next one.